about this vlog because we are introducing a new series here on my channel just life in my 30s and I'm going to speak a little bit more about that later so basically the theme of this vlog is just really elevating your life in 2024 I know the year just started I know sometimes we have some people that may be a little uh, when it comes to New Year's resolution and setting goals it's just something so beautiful about the beginning of a new year starting fresh just implementing habits and routines and things like that into your life I changed my perspective as far as like how I wanted to show up and dress i love and always gravitate to clothes that just gives me that elevated more polished put together look that's why i'm so excited to bring to you our sponsor of today's video lulu's so thank you to lulu's for sponsoring the try on haul portion of this video i just absolutely love them i've already stated this before but lulu's offer attainable luxury exceptional quality and versatile pieces that you can wear for any occasion like you're gonna see what i'm talking about in a few moments everything will be listed in the description box below i also have a discount code for you guys where you can use my code daquan20 for 20% off site wide for first time customers only but yes yeah, so let's get into it because we really got some good things all right so the first item I'm going to show you is a pair of shoes and when I tell you mm, these shoes are so nice so luxe like it's gonna instantly elevate your outfit no matter what you put on gold gold heels come on are you kidding me i'm always here for a good sling back moment this is a little bit higher than a kid heel i feel like it's still manageable in my opinion like it's not super high but i love a sling back kid heel pointy toe moment and these are gorgeous these heels instantly elevate your outfit and they're definitely going to make your outfit like pop so here's the first outfit and i'm just absolutely in love with this it's something about an all white look that just really does it for me it's like this button up vest here it's just so gorgeous this is perfect for like valentine's day perfect for like a bridal shower i just love how this look and it just like buttons all the way down but girl the back it's a bow. I hope you guys can see it. It's fun. It's flirty. I do have a smaller chest, so I always have like problems like here in this area. But I can definitely get this like tailored so it can really fit like snug here. And I just paired it with these white pants again from Lulu's. But this outfit with the gold heels chef kiss like you cannot tell me that you don't look elevated when you walk into the room so the next item here is this cardigan and i'm literally obsessed it's the perfect addition to your outfit you can dress it up throwing on some heels or boots you can dress it down throwing on some sneakers i love the colors in here because it's so fun like the quality of this you can literally see it through the camera oh gosh it's so nice so cozy so warm like lulu's truly do not miss whenever it comes to the quality so yeah just love everything about this this i am loving it is a sweater knit vest i also like that it's cropped this will be so perfect for the upcoming like spring and summer months these are just like those simplistic items that i love you can also layer it by putting a button-up shirt underneath this like i just love this type of material I also love just kind of how laid back it is this is one of the those nice versatile pieces definitely need this because it's so easy to dress all right y'all this beautiful beautiful like i love the colors in here Lulu's definitely did their big one with this like this is so nice it gives me just again fun and playful i don't feel like this is too much or too bold to wear it's covering and i do feel like the colors are very subtle it still gives you a very nice put together polished look which is like what i like to go for and then just the style of it in general it's just like you know my whole vibe i did go down in size but you are welcome to say your size skirt is just so nice and flowy and like i said just the vibe that i'm going for and girl i got the gold heels on with it and it literally just gives this outfit screams grown woman but i know how to have fun too it's a 
her last outfit and it is definitely a top top fave of mine like to style the color again very sophisticated like i say that valentine's day is coming up so this is a really cute outfit to go to dinner with like look at the color okay gorgeous it's this tweed style skirt set it has gold buttons all the way down on the top as well as the skirt there's a zipper in the back so it's easy to get on this look like right here is literally so nice like i'm obsessed again you see that i have it on with the gold heels like i told you earlier the gold heels literally can go with anything it's like the perfect complement to this outfit especially like you know with the gold buttons so so yes i absolutely love this so that completes this try on portion from lulu's i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely leave me comments down below letting me know what was your favorite look or item from this haul again don't forget to use my code daycoin20 so you can save 20 percent off site wide again it's for new customers only and thank you again to lulu's for sponsoring this try on haul portion of the video hey babies welcome back to another vlog specifically a new series on the channel life in my 30s this has been a concept that i wanted to bring to life on my channel for a long time now like ever since i've turned 30 which is almost a year ago I am almost 31 baby time is moving but I've held off on doing it because I've seen people you know do similar things similar videos similar titles I just kind of held off because you know how the internet is nowadays I'm always inspired by other creators because everyone brings a fresh perspective to content um things can be very similar but the way that they do it the way that they say it the way that they wear it you know so forth and so on is going to be different and I just had to get out of my own head because I realized that my 30s and their 30s are not the same there may be some similarities but the chapters are always different I've learned so far being a year into my 30s life takes on a new hue one of softness comfort and refined indulgence I always felt pressured especially being on social media to always be doing something especially when it comes to like vlogging and that's kind of why I fell off a little bit with vlogging because I'm like I'm not doing anything and I will tell you guys this as well like I'm not doing anything I don't go anywhere I'm just at the house whenever I am doing something it's very boring it's like adult things <laughs> You know what I mean? So it has caused me to kind of hold back with vlogging because anytime I would vlog, I'm like, I'm in my house again. I'm not doing anything. There's nothing special, nothing happening, you know, with this vlog. Life looks different for everyone. And there are people out there that are similar to me that likes to be a homebody and just do adult responsibilities, if that makes sense. Like cooking, shopping, cleaning, things of that sort. And it is okay. Not every day is gonna look the same. The fact that I find comfort in my own home, I wanna share it with others who also find comfort in their own home and who's in their 30s. And just embrace the soft life in your 30s and understanding the beauty of slowing down finding joy in the everyday and just relishing the moments that truly matter and this is going to be truly raw some days we're going to have good days some days we're not going to have good days so in this series you will see a multitude of things where i'm going to be creating a cozy sanctuary in my home prioritizing self-care rituals creating a wardrobe that exudes effortless elegance because for me my style has definitely changed i am more so on these elevated basics things that are really good quality the more polished put together look so I'm excited to share all of that with you guys and of course we're gonna be doing other things coffee shop cooking just exploring the city so I'm excited about this series I hope you guys are excited I just wanted to do like a quick little introduction that you guys know like what this series is going to be about I need to pull my hair back hold on I am going out of town next week 
um or this upcoming week because today is sunday we are going to new york for new york fashion week actually prepping so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing today but that's going to be in a whole nother vlog so stay tuned for that I just kind of want to look put together today so i'm just going to put on a little like light makeup i'm just using the refi face primer glow and scope i love this then i am going to i usually like to take the refi clear brow scope i think i'm gonna just stick with the anastasia beverly hills and this is gonna be the uh brow freeze gel because like i said i'm just doing something very light today so it's not gonna be anything too serious i'm doing my eyebrows because that is important eyebrows is a big part of you i'm trying to find a stylist here in charlotte that can really you know do my hair um and cater to you know my hair um my real hair so i can really start like taking care of that because it's whew, it's bad like it's so damaged right here is crazy I'm gonna let this dry for just a little bit and we're gonna take the nyx lift and snatch um brow tint pen and i'm just gonna fill in the brows lightly nothing too serious and oh one thing that i've been using that i absolutely love is this nars dolce vita uh blush but i promise you i don't do much like i'm using it on my actual skin because i want like a still very natural you know type look so yeah and i think this is such a beautiful natural color i don't even know if you guys can tell perfect for any skin complexion so just so nice you can probably see a little bit i kind of like to blend into my skin I say that i've always been very mature for my age i'm the only child my parents are older just always had more of like a mature mindset i've been very independent at a very young age but a lot of my like thinking didn't just happen since i turned 30 like i've been thinking you know this way as you get older and you know you go through life different experiences happen you get to look at certain situations from like a different lens and you get to kind of like understand it a little bit more as you get older because you're like developing and maturing i feel like in my opinion that i've always had like a really great understanding of life and people so one of the things that i'm doing this year is just really focusing on like my mental health and just really pouring into the people that pour into me i've had a false perception of people on social media and i kind of feel like i would get disappointed if i saw how people reacted to other people on social media but not me on social media like i will be disappointed even though i learned early on like when i first started social media and just that you're not going to have that support from people that you feel like should support you they're gonna follow you they're gonna view your stuff they're not gonna necessarily always support you as they would other people and i think for me it will come as like a disappointment because i'm just like dang and even though like i realized it very early on like when i started social media that sometimes you're not going to get that support that you're looking for it doesn't make it okay but it doesn't mean that you have to address it, it doesn't mean that you have to keep those people in your corner i have adjusted a lot over the past few few years honestly and i am happy with where i am right now one of the things i feel like when it comes to elevating your life is just to adjust who's around you when you go into your 30s and like i said i've been on this wave in my 20s i feel like that's just really your elite you know decade you understand life a little bit more you have a low tolerance for bs you're not really dealing with things that doesn't serve you anymore for me like i said it's a beautiful thing to you actually slow down and you look at life from like a different lens you realize hey i'm getting older and this is what i want to do and i've noticed like you know that this person this thing this place whatever is no longer serving me not to say you're going to hit that right at 30 it may be 31 2 3 4 5 so forth and so on and it may happen for others like you know early on the things that i recommend whenever it comes to elevating your life just removing that person place or thing that no longer serves you when i say removing especially when it comes to people right like that doesn't mean like oh you don't have to talk to that person anymore it just means to create some distance between yourself and that person elevating your life means that you have to adjust who's around you and what you're 
you're doing um just to pour more into you, like your mental health sometimes that person or that thing is really holding you back being your best self over the past year i realized like dang this person really don't mess with me like that and i was very confused i thought that we were cool i know we're not best friends i know we don't talk every day but i thought that you know there was like a mutual like there was like a mutual friendship surface level friendship mutual support for each other and i quickly realized that's not it especially when i would see certain things on the internet so i had to adjust i'm going with the maybelline fit me powder so i love this powder no matter what like, i've had this for a while so i'm not i'm embarrassed to tell you how long i've had this powder relationship that i thought me and these people had like we truly don't and that's fine like, once you come to that understanding and like i said this does not have to be about people it helps me so much more to maneuver when it comes to my career which i feel like help me elevate it because i'm not expecting anything anymore whatever you're battling with remove it understand and that it's no longer for you it helps elevate you mentally you no longer focus on things that makes you feel sad and confused depressed whatever into any emotions that you want to enter there do we want to do eyelashes oh my gosh Yeah, because I'm doing a video, I am gonna do some eyelashes, but these are gonna be like the quickest ones. These are the Kiss and Press, like Press On Falsies. Like these feel so good and lightweight. getting ready to go to a nail appointment <laughs> go to a nail appointment i'm doing like another vlog like a prep with me vlog for new york i don't think it's necessary to show y'all like twice um and plus it's more on theme with my prep with me vlog so yeah um honestly i need to be leaving in about 20 minutes so just doing my skincare, took my vitamins, I'm gonna make some coffee. I do need to pick up my clothes for like from the alteration. And then I honestly need to pack. Slept in the lashes that I put on yesterday. And I have a love-hate relationship with lashes. I don't know how the girls do it, like like extensions. Like I like to be completely bare faced. Like I already feel annoyed by my hair. <sighs> I just like for things to just breathe, you know what I mean? It's cold outside, very cold and windy. So I gotta figure out like what I'm gonna wear. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. We're gonna get ready because I don't wanna be late. Let me get to it. I still have to do my hair really quick. I'm just gonna wear a two piece set, sneakers, and this like jacket is good. It's definitely giving a monochromatic, you know, look. Yeah. I'm thinking this is the vibe, and then I'm just gonna, you know, cover it like this. This is the vibe. That'll be cute. 